All right. That's going to bring us straight into our next segment um, with Selena from Hugging Face. Hi, Hi Olivia. How are, How are you? you? I was super excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're so happy to have you here. Um, yeah, I did a quick intro that you're from Hugging Face, but if you could just do an intro of yourself and then what you'll be showing today, that would be Yeah, fun. yeah. Um, so I'm Selina. I'm a software engineer at uh, Hugging Face uh, for more than a year now. I'm the co-maintainer of the Hugging Face SDKs, and I also work on our serverless uh, inference service called Hugging Face Inference Providers. Uh, that I will be talking today um, and how to use it uh, inside VS Code. Uh, so a quick word on inference providers. If you can show my screen. Yeah, um, so a quick word on this. Uh, it's basically uh, the easiest way to get access to uh, state-of-the-art open weight models via one single uh, API. And the inference runs on uh, world-class uh, inference providers like Cerebras, Grog, Fireworks, and a bunch of others. And you get fast, reliable access to pretty much any uh, open weight uh, model you can think of. And because we uh, support multiple providers, you get flexibility in terms of um, cost, uh, speed, and availability without being tied um, like to a single vendor. And uh, it's also cost effective in a sense that we don't uh, add any uh, extra markup on top of uh, provider aid. Now, the, the part I'm especially excited about uh, is that you can use this open weight uh, models directly uh, inside this VS Code Copilot chat uh, with the uh, extension called Hugging Face uh, provider for GitHub Copilot that you can find on the marketplace. Uh, I think you cannot miss it. It's the, uh, the extension with the cute, uh, the cutest logo. Uh, so yeah, uh, by the way, huge thanks to the VS Code team uh, for implementing the tooling uh, that makes this super easy for us uh, to build. It's based on, on the bring your own key feature that uh, Logan was uh, presenting before. And as he was explaining, it basically allows you to contribute your language models um, to an API to VS Code Copilot chat. And uh, VS Code being open source is uh, such a great, a great thing for us as well. It helped uh, build this kind of, uh, of uh, features. Um, so yeah, um, another thing about the, the extension, uh, we think it's uh, very cool uh, for us because we constantly release uh, new features on our side and uh, the extension being outside of VS Code allows us to iterate faster, uh, add new features, integrations, bug fixes, and um, all of that without relying on, on VS Code releases. Uh, so yeah, a quick demo, setting this up is straightforward. You just need to install the Hugging Face um, provider extension. Once in, it's installed, uh, go to Copilot chat, uh, click on the model picker, then manage models, click on add models, and then you will find the Hugging Face in the list. Click on Hugging Face. And then it will ask you for your Hugging Face uh, API key. So this is the, your Hugging Face access token. And you can find this in your uh, Hugging Face settings. Just make sure to um, add permissions to inference providers. So I will copy my um, token here. Click Enter. And then you can select any available models uh, to use uh, inside uh, Copilot chat. Uh, so yeah, a couple of useful things here uh, is that you can actually filter uh, models uh, by provider uh, that are that supports this model. For example, if I want to um, show all models that are supported by Fireworks, I can just uh, look for uh, Fireworks and uh, it will give me all the models that are served to Fireworks. Um, you can also pick uh, either the fastest mode, uh, which will select uh, the fastest provider for that model, uh, I mean the highest throughput uh, for, uh, for that model. We have also a cheapest mode, which will select the, the most cost efficient um, provider for that model. So yeah, so let's select, uh, for example, the latest Dipseek model which should be a DeepSeq V3.2 uh, with the fastest provider. And let's select GLM 4.6, another uh, open weight model that has a uh, great performance for coding. And once you uh, enable visibility here, you will find uh, the models here uh, directly uh, to use. Um, yeah, so let's try um, a quick uh, demo here. Um, let's build something real, actually. So uh, I have this feature request. 
uh, I was uh, supposed to implement today. So the, on, on the Hugging Face Hub uh, repo, which is the Hugging Face uh, Python SDK. So yeah, let's just ask uh, GLN to implement uh, this, this feature directly. Love so just ask um, GLM to, to implement this by giving the URL directly to, uh, to the GitHub uh, issue. Uh, let's add a bit of context. And let's hope I don't get any uh, demo effect here, but it should be. <laughs> we never help. Yeah, uh, actually, I, uh, for this kind of features, I really like using local agents um, instead of assigning, I don't know, the, the issue straight to GitHub uh, Copilot because it feels much more uh, interactive and I get to steal the implementation step by step. Uh, I can refine the prompt and uh, I just like watch, I just like watch it like uh, until it completes uh, its work. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, um, I also estimated uh, roughly how much it costs for this kind of session, I mean, this kind of request, and it's uh, roughly around uh, 20 to 30 cents uh, uh, if you want to like, have GLM implement this uh, feature. And I'm not even uh, using the cheapest uh, provider, so it's quite uh, cheap compared to other, uh, other models. And with the free Hugging Face account, you get some uh, free credits to try things out. And then with the pro account, you get uh, even more um, monthly credits, free credits, and then it's pay as you go um, after that. Um, yeah, so I think it's it's going really well for now. It takes like one to two minutes. Um, and as of the extension, the implementation is obviously open source. Uh, so you can just check out uh, the code and open issues if you have any uh, bug reports or feature requests. Um, we're super uh, happy to to get like some feedback on that. Yeah, we'll definitely make sure to share out that um, repo link so people can um, contribute to that. Um, but yeah, I love like there's a couple of things I just want to highlight they showed up. First, I love the be able to filter for cheapest and fastest because I mean, like at the end of the day, right? A lot of people don't necessarily know what all these models are. I know what's what's something I can try that's cheap or what's something I can try that's just gonna get my task done fastest. So I think that that's a really, really great user experience. Um, and then to your point about um, just this being in its own extension, um, Logan touched on this a little bit too, um, but it just really allows y'all to be able to get the latest updates out to folks as quick as possible rather than to your point, waiting for maybe yeah. a stable release to go out. Yeah, yeah. I, actually for the cheapest and fastest uh, mode, we shipped that a couple of weeks ago after releasing the extension. So I just had like to release another um, version uh, of, of the extension and then uh, ship that into uh, Copilot chat. So it's, uh, it's very, very cool. Um, there is a question um, on if these models can be handed to the cloud agent. Um, or it uh, uh, your local sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it can be used to cloud agent. I tried this. Uh, I think a couple of days ago, so it should be working fine also for you with cloud agents, background agents. Um, I'm more of a local agent to be honest, but uh, yeah, yeah, you can be used as well. We see this kind of. Um... Like the other thing I think that's really great to show with the extension too, then it kind of gets all the error handling from y'all as well too. So that way, you know, it's a model that's supported by Hugging Face uh, yeah. and that you can make sure that all the responses are being uh, uh, requested properly um, and that you can see kind of that great user experience there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it helps also that we have like, um, we are OpenAI uh, compatible, which makes it really easy to implement this uh, for the VS Code Copilot chat, so um, yeah, it's it's um, it's it's really a good uh, a good thing to have uh, this uh, this thing of the bring your own key uh, feature uh, in VS Code and the way it's implemented as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Let's see. It looks like it's yeah. All yeah. Last successfully. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did the job. Um, yeah, I, and and then I can, I mean, using this, I can just iterate, ask for tests, or if I don't like something, uh, I can just like um, do the job uh, locally and then uh, push a final version of it uh, after reviewing the, the agent work. Yeah, I, I like, I just think it's really cool how it's, you still get kind of this native experience you're used to in chat, but you get to bring all these extra models in. 
Um, and you know, hugging face is like that was like one of the uh, top ones that people are like, oh, when can I put in hugging face models here? Um, so uh, that's a really great. I'll put out the um, link again real quick um, so people know where to look for. Um, you can either search in the extension marketplace in VS Code for hugging face inference provider um, for Copilot Chat, I think it's called, or we have the link up um, right now too for how to get to that extension page. Awesome. All right. Is there anything else that you want to share or yeah. about that hugging face will be um, coming in the future? Um, I think though the, that's it. We will. Uh, I think we're communicating about it like every time we have like new features, mm -hmm. and we we try to uh, to improve that and see what next features, new features of VS Code, and how to integrate that uh, on our side. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Lena, for being here. Thanks for allowing me to have a great day. You too. Bye.